So picking acorns is quite a simple, um, it's a simple part. <laughs> the next step is to peel them. So hitting them over the hitting them over the head with a hammer, just like I did, um, cracks them once they're dry, and it's easy enough to split the shells off them at that point. You've got to make sure that this that coating that uh, skin comes off them because they that can be a little bit bitter. And then I, I'm just picking them into halves. So what I'm going to experiment with. So first of all, I'm just putting them into water so they don't turn brown uh, until I'm ready to leach them. They'll probably leach a little bit like that. Now um, these are from the English oak. These acorns. From what I understand, the English oak is has got some similarities with the white oak. Um, just from a Google research, I'm not sure how much of a resemblance it is. But giving the giving some of these acorns a slight nibble, they're not too bitter. They're still bitter enough not to want to eat them raw. Um, then they're a bit tough whilst they're raw, so it's probably not a good idea to eat them without leaching. However, I don't think it will take that much of a leaching process to achieve it. Now what I'm going to do later on, which I'll show you, is how I'm going to, how I plan to leach them. I'm thinking of doing, using an old filter housing and mimicking the stream and running water. So if I um, the plan is to run them through filtered water until they're um, until they're fully leached that way. Um, I can leave them over a few days. That I can leave them over a few days and just let the leaching do its thing. Um, I mean the quickest way is to do it as a flower, grind it down into a flower. However, I'm a little bit cautious about losing some of the goodness by um, leaching it in that way. Um, because you can you, you grind it down a lot finer and um, and you have to put it through a muslin cloth and you're still going to lose some of the bits out of that. So um, my plan is to leach them slowly with cold water um, and to make it a little less dependent on having to empty and refill I'm going to put them into an old filter housing and um, create an automated process. So it's just like carrying them by a stream or leaving them in a stream. And I can come back in a day or two. I might even take less than that, who knows. But I'll come back and they'll be ready to dry, turn into flour and do whatever I like to do with them. So I did, I did, this is, this is just the beauty of how um, things always work out. I. I went out to pick them all while the weather was decent, and now we have a um, solid, non-stop rainy day. It's perfect to just sit in the caravan and um, and peel these acorns, listening to the rain. Kind of beautiful. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll um, I'll update you later on once I peel all of these because I'm sure you don't want to watch <laughs> watch me sitting here peeling acorns. So there we go, after I've done this last half I'll um, stop the camera and um, I'll catch up with you once I've, once I've finished peeling. Right, so it's actually taken me a lot longer than I <laughs> thought it would take to show even just a just a kilo of acorns kind of crazy it's taken me about six hours so when you can when you take that into consideration you're losing around a thousand thousand fifteen hundred calories maybe um, half a day um, so the yield from this is about three thousand eight hundred calories and I'm emphasizing calories just because in nature it's very hard to get your calorie sources and not every year produces a good um, a good bounty of nuts so um, whilst there's a potential of 97,000 calories locked up in here and enough for 
perhaps to take me through winter um, accompanied by everything else I hope to harvest. Um, actually getting the calories out of it, processing, getting it ready, you're probably going to be left with, out of that 3,800, you're probably going to only be left with about 1,000, 2,000 calories at max. So um, you're taking over half just through the processing. But um, here's what I'm planning to do with the old filter unit that I was using before to um, filter the stream water. So what I'm going to do here is to fill, put the acorns inside of this container. The water will come in down this tube to the bottom and it will flow up and out of here. So what that should hopefully do is to um, give, me, give me a continuous flow taking the tannins, the tannin filled water out of the canister and I can just leave this going for as long as it takes to leach the acorns so it's kind of like a standalone. Um, so this is where I'm kind of negating some of the energy expended because I don't have to keep coming and leaching and making sure it's doing its thing. This is just going to leach it for me. Hopefully this phone is going to stay up here while I uh, get everything prepared to do the acorns so hopefully this will enable you to see exactly what I'm going to do. So first of all I'll probably take this off the frame if it works at some point. I just need to fix this somewhere so that it's so that it's in a place that I can work with. Yeah, that'll do. Don't fall. What we're going to do is to. I've already got a filter here, so it's quite a simple job. Pull the tap out and connect this up to the other side of the bowl. That's not going to do it. I need this to connect up to the other side. Future. So what we so we've got everything set up. I I have it coming from the filter up into the canister. So once I've filled this up with acorns, we should be ready to switch the tap on and give it a test. So you can see it's already quite dark the water after sitting. those beautiful acorns. Oh I've actually got I've got a kilo I've got a kilo and a half of acorns. That's not too bad. So that's around six thousand calories I'd say. Um, yeah up to six thousand calories in that amount. So what we're going to do the problem it take what I'm gonna have to do is to try and do it like this because if I pull the pipe out these may not allow me to push the pipe back in. So all I'm going to do is to just fill up, fill this up with acorns without losing too many. Uh, no, that's not working. Yeah, let's try that again. I can just get them to go right up. There we go. Yeah, I'm still losing a couple, but. Okay, that's almost perfect. So the acorns come up to about here, so I reckon I could fit up to three litres of acorns going by this jug. So um, that's the first step. 
the next is to oh now this is the tricky part is it going to let me squeeze this on because I did it when it was low down so that's the tricky part is getting this screwed on I hope it doesn't make the um, that tube come off inside it <sighs> now I'm hoping because I don't need it to be completely airtight because water will go down the least resistance that should be okay right we're going to give it a go now here's the moment of truth let's turn on the filter and as long as I've sealed everything up properly this should be filling it up down here look at that now the light's not perfect because we're um, quite late uh, we're losing the daylight look at that there's the murky water coming up so this is actually kind of a perfect method I think um, this will enable me to freely leach the acorns there we go so if I just leave that going on a very 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 slow setting just keep it trickling through for maybe a day or two perhaps oh, I do have to tighten that up a bit more but um, other than that it's working quite well so here it is, this is the finished setup for now, completely experimental, yes with a screw in the cupboard door. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't get the leak to stop so I've just got it dripping over the sink for the time being. Now if this functions well I've got another bracket, so what I might do is take this off of this unit and fix a bracket up to the top here and just hang it straight off the bracket. And uh, what, this, what this will do is uh, give me a slow leach maybe 24 hours 48 hours maybe up to a week it doesn't matter too much because I've only got it on a small drip here and uh, that should be a, that dribble should be enough to keep the water circulated if it isn't I can always turn it up a tiny bit now um, if this works this will give me the opportunity this, this will give me a maintenance free ability to leach the acorns um, leach the acorns in a decent quantity it's about about one and a half kilos and uh, all these parts can quite easily be bought on eBay uh, anywhere that does plumbing supplies you just need a um, you just need a filter housing 20 inch filter housing um, the valve fittings at the top and then onto I think it's 10 mil pipe it's three quarter inch or something like that um, so 10 mil pipe and into a filter. Uh, the other option that I'm thinking about doing is the is putting cornmeal, not cornmeal, acorn meal <laughs> into here. And if I put a little sediment filter in the top, just a bit of foam to stop any bits getting out, if it sinks, this could be perfect in um, filtering corn filtering the acorn meal which which means it'll it'll leach a lot quicker and I can get a lot more in here so that's another possibility um, to achieve this but I just want the acorn halves so I can dry them afterwards and uh, bake them as they are or then grind it into flour and use it as I need to so we'll see how this goes I'll keep you updated and um, excuse the very 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 experimental setup <laughs> so here's to hoping that it stays up there overnight <laughs> okay so uh, that's all for now and we'll see how this we'll see how this goes